Hello everyone. Um, this is uh, the following setup. Two chambers, uh, one and two are enclosed by the thermally insulated material. Chamber one contains an ideal gas up to 100 atmosphere and the chamber two is completely evacuated. Okay. The two chambers are separated by a breakable seal. Before the seal is broken, the temperature of the chamber one is T1 initial, thus then the seal is broken and the gas is allowed to rush to chamber 2. The volume of the chamber 2 is 100 times the volume of the chamber 1. When the pressure in the two chambers become equal, the respective temperature. Mm -hmm. So this is nothing but the Joule's experiment. Okay. Now uh, for Joule's experiment, for the ideal gas, there is no temperature change. Okay. Uh, for Joule's, experiment, Joule's coefficient equal to 0, um, and uh, the temperature are equal okay only when the when there is a real gas the temperature or a small drop in temperature okay? otherwise there is no temperature change okay so the first option is the correct option the specific heat of is uh, certain material monotically increase with temperature the two identical block of this material are kept at 50 degrees celsius and 100 degrees celsius identical block okay If they contact uh, two clocks now come in contact with each other, assume that no heat is lost to the surrounding. Okay, so when thermal equilibrium is reached after the two clocks kept in contact, what would be the final temperature of the two clocks? Okay, here they say the specific heat of a certain material monotically increase with the temperature. Okay, so when the heat flow from higher temperature to lower temperature. Uh, the specific heat of the material is uh, higher, okay, increasing. Okay. So, uh, so 100 plus 50, uh, the average temperature is 75, okay. 100 plus 50 by 2, okay. So, uh, because of the increasing temperature, uh, the final temperature is greater than 75 degrees Celsius, okay. Uh, if it is not increased, means uh, the two temperature are same, okay and the average temperature because there is no heat is lost to the surrounding okay? so if it is uh, decrease means uh, uh, the decrease okay? decrease uh, less than 75 degrees okay? 75 is nothing but 100 plus 50 divided by 2 okay so the average temperature okay? During isothermal expansion of an ideal gas, which of the following happens? Okay. So isothermal means temperature does not change, correct? Okay. So then the process is spontaneous or not? Okay. So we see. Okay, the energy of the system does not change. Okay. For isothermal process, uh, energy of the, the energy of the system is delta U. Okay. Does not change okay delta u for isothermal process delta u equal to zero okay so uh, so energy system does not change is correct entropy increases so when the expansion happens uh, there are more, uh, small volume to big volume okay so there is uh, more volume means more entropy entropy increases uh, when there is a entropy increases the process is spontaneous okay so the all statement are correct Okay, one mole of an ideal. So, okay, something, something is. Okay, if the inversion temperature of a gas is minus 85 degrees Celsius, then it will produce cooling under Joule Thomson effect. Okay, uh, cooling, okay, cooling under Joule Thomson effect. Okay. Uh, the inversion temperature is minus 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, so if you uh, convert it to Kelvin, means 170, 193 Kelvin. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when the when cooling happens, new Joule Thomson coefficient is greater than zero. Okay, then only cooling happens. Okay. Uh, Meaning uh, the temperature of the
shift below the inversion temperature okay so we already uh, see in the morning class okay how then there is cooling happens okay joule thomson effect okay means uh, expansion okay you see the first video you can understand that okay okay and then consider the following statements temperature remains constant in an adiabatic as well as isothermal process so it is wrong okay only temperature constant in isothermal process not in adiab not in adiabatic process isothermal correct but uh, adiabatic wrong okay so in a cyclic process delta u equal to zero because delta u is a state function okay if cp of reaction is zero then enthalpy of the reaction does not vary with the temperature correct okay what is cp cp equal to delta h divided by delta t to constant t okay when cp is uh, zero means uh, the enthalpy does not change okay that is the concept the enthalpy does not vary with temperature the temperature increase or decrease this is always zero okay that is uh, because here cp is zero they give cp is zero means um, uh, you the another form is uh, delta h is equal to cp dt okay cp is zero means uh, the enthalpy does not vary with the temperature okay okay so the two and three are correct okay so uh, that is the correct option the relationship between volume change in isothermal and an adiabatic for a process change from pressure one to pressure two okay um we already see this graph okay p versus volume okay? this is isothermal this is adiabatic okay so you see in mm, so here you see this is the isothermal isothermal this is adiabatic okay this curve is for adiabatic okay so uh, so here this is the volume change delta v okay so you see the adiabatic volume change is less than the isothermal volume change okay uh, and, and the pressure is uh, we, we, for adiabatic process the pressure degrees very much than the isothermal process okay but the volume change is very less than in adiabatic than the compared to isothermal okay so attaining a same pressure uh, p1 to p2 uh, the volume change in adiabatic is very small okay this is the delta v so this is volume this is delta v change in volume this is delta v for isothermal this is higher okay uh, why the curve is like this isothermal and adiabatic in isothermal uh, means it is a constant temperature okay so the heat is flow into the system and to maintain the pressure it does not decrease the pressure okay uh, but in the adiabatic there is no heat transfer so pressure is very decreased when volume increases the pressure increase very much than the isothermal okay so you should know so okay for a cyclic process delta u zero delta h zero both delta h zero. okay so this is the correct answer the one rule equation so the ratio of dimension okay so we know this equation okay so just to put the equation and you you can easily find the uh, variables okay p equal to nrt divided by so e uh, take this below okay below v bar minus nd and this two plus two minus okay minus a into n square divided by v square okay you see below b okay b minus n b okay uh here the b b is and decimated so uh for above you see p pressure is the uh, uh atmospheric or uh, pascal or like the pressures you need okay so the unit should be match okay so here atmospheric pressure means the uh, this side also atmospheric pressure okay like that you should uh, calculate okay here you see uh, so if you uh, the above uh, a mole and uh, n is mole and uh, r is uh, joules per kelvin per mole okay per mole and uh, uh, nrt temperature is kelvin okay so cancel and cancel okay uh, joules per uh, so volume if you take volume in meter cube or anything else uh, joules per meter cube is joules okay so we, we take below only okay so 
ओके so uh, means the unit of b is decimeter cube per mole okay uh, like that uh, for the unit of a you can see here uh, a into n square by v square n is mole square divided by v square means decimeter cube the whole square means decimeter 6 okay uh, then the a unit should be here the whole unit uh, Uh, joules per decimeter cube is equal to atmospheric. Okay, so uh, here also you you uh, you want atmospheric pressure. Okay, then uh, the A unit must be uh, mole mole square means mole power minus two, and decimeter six means decimeter six. So you can cancel out decimeter cube, decimeter cube, mole and mole and atmospheric. Okay. so you got here atmospheric here atmospheric so you can take the atmosphere outside okay so the unit should match okay that is is simple mathematics if you calculate this you find okay then a by b if you put uh, if you find a and b units then put a by units then you find the answer okay okay then work done in a free expansion zero okay the irreversible adiabatic process t1 by t2 is equal to is it this also simple mathematics uh, you know vc is equal to constant or vita is equal to vf tf whole power c the c is nothing but um, cvm divided by r okay you see here cvm divided by r okay so this is the formula so you take this is vc T is equal to constant. V A T A C is equal to V F C. So you take um, V A by V F uh, equal to T F by T A to whole power y C. Okay. So um, if you uh, take the C in uh, to this side, it will come like one by C. Okay. One by C V A by V F V F C equal to one by C into T F by T C. Okay. So this is uh, from ideal gas law. P A V A is equal to T A divided by Uh, pf vf equal to tf so uh, don't confuse pa means pressure of initial pressure uh, they mention sometime p1 or p2 okay uh, f mean final pressure okay okay so if you divide these two uh, you get uh, this tf by ta is easy uh, now substitute um, for va by vf uh, you substitute ta by tf okay here you see this you substitute for va by vf So substitute T F by T I the whole power C. Okay, then um, take uh, T A this side. Okay, under T F this side, uh, T A by T F the whole power C. Okay, here one here plus C means one plus C. Okay, uh, if you take the one plus C this side means one by one plus C. Okay, one by one plus C P A by P F one by one plus C equal to T A by T F. Okay, then we see 1 by 1 plus 1 one plus c means 1 plus cv by r okay uh, then 1 r plus cv by r okay and then r plus cv equal to cp divided by r okay uh, if you want 1 by 1 by c means there are take the reciprocal r by cp okay so in the problem they give gamma minus 1 by gamma gamma means cp minus cvm okay uh, 1 minus So if you take gamma by gamma minus one by gamma, gamma by gamma is equal to one. One by gamma is equal to minus one. So these are simple mathematics. You know, okay. one minus one by gamma. Gamma is CP by CV. Okay, one by gamma is CV by CP. Okay. So then take the uh, multiply uh, CP by CP by CV by C, CP. Okay, CP by CV equal to R divided by CP. Okay. So these two are same. Okay. So the simple uh, these are simple mathematical calculations. So if you know the formula and do the calculation, you find the answer. So many problem asked this uh, from this adiabatic expansions. Okay.
okay so which of the following thermodynamic relation correct for one mole of an idea guys so this is uh, the internal energy does not change when volume change correct okay but uh, enthalpy okay this is wrong okay uh, enthalpy is formula is delta h by delta t at constant t so that is zero okay? so this is not zero okay the enthalpy change when volume changing okay so this you see this relation so cv is a constant volume okay process if you differentiate with respect to constant volume you get zero not greater than zero so this is wrong and you see uh, when you increase the temperature or decrease the temperature the pressure should vary not zero okay so this is also wrong so the correct answer is this okay so delta h is a change in enthalpy delta e is the change in internal energy okay then which of the following is correct okay so formula is delta h equal to delta e here delta e is the internal energy they give internal energy or delta e okay so you sometimes they put delta u okay so these two are same okay delta ng rt this is the formula okay the delta ng is the um, moles of product divided by the moles of reactor okay uh, uh, you, so the, you using this um, here uh always less than is wrong always greater is wrong okay so when it, it is depend on the delta ng okay when the delta ng of gas is product delta ng is product minus reactant more mol, uh, moles of uh, gas uh, moles of gaseous product minus moles of gaseous reactor okay when the product is higher means this is positive value okay this is positive value means um delta h is um greater okay delta h is greater so this is also wrong okay so then this only may be correct okay uh so right when, when the gas is small less than means product less than means negative okay this is negative means uh, delta e is greater okay so simple mathematics if you take delta h is equal to 10 and uh, this is 8 okay so so uh, delta e is high okay means uh, this is uh, you take 8 okay this is 10 uh, minus 2 okay so something negative means this is higher okay something positive means this is higher okay so so simple mathematics you should know Which of the following statement is correct? Okay, extensive properties are independent of the mass of the system. So uh, this is wrong. Okay. So extensive properties are in dependent on the, on the mass. Okay. When you increase the mass, the extensive property increase or decrease. Okay. Intensive properties is independent. On. So they oppositely gives. So so the uh, both density is an extensive property. So what is density? Density is mass per volume. Okay. So mass is an extensive property. Uh, volume is also an uh, extensive property. But the density is an intensive property. Okay. So density of a uh, substance does not change. Okay. If you take density of water, uh, it is one. Okay. Approximately one. Okay. So if if it is one means uh, it is does not vary okay if you take one liter water or ten liter water the density of water does not change uh, you take density of ice is smaller okay uh, density is uh, smaller than the water okay so if you take how much big the ice is it does not sink into the water okay because the density is always lower so density is is an intensive property is not an extensive property so if you remove these three options the only option is potential property it is an extensive uh, property okay uh, because potential energy increases when you systems like uh, if you take a dam okay dam okay dam it contains water okay it is if it is a uh, small dam means the potential energy of the water is small okay if it is big dam means the potential energy is big okay so potential energy is an extensive property uh, by varying size if it is varies mean extensive means extensive property Intensive means the it does not vary when the uh, system size increases. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. For same, thus so already I told you the same calculation. If you do the mathematics, you get the answer. Okay. 
here you see the irreversible adiabatic expansion joule thomson exception joule thomson exception is a constant enthalpic process okay so b equal to 1 okay so what are the options so you uh, cancel out the options okay then uh, uh, you see adiabatic free expansion adiabatic means q equal to 0 free expansion means w equal to 0 then delta u equal to 0 okay so d option 2 okay b option 2 p option 1 so this is the answer okay so you check the other two okay so definition of thermodynamic temperature zero law of temperature the value of cp for cp for ideal gases so already told was cv equal to 3 by 2 3 by 2 r okay cp equal to for ideal gas okay cp equal to 5 by 2 r okay cp by cv equal to 5 by 3 okay compressibility factor for an ideal gas equal to 1 okay so pv bar equal to z or t this is the uh, compressibility factor formula when the compressive factor equal to 1 means you get the ideal gas law okay pv bar equal to rt okay so simple concept and they ask the questions okay here you see the formula same formula delta h equal to delta e plus delta ng rt okay here there is no gas solid 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 liquid okay so this is cancelled so delta e equal to delta h <coughs> heat capacity of a uh, species is independent of temperature only if it is monoatomic okay okay for diatomic triatomic lot so only 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 when you monoatomic uh, it is no monoatomic the energy cv equal to 3 by 2 r okay only if it is monoatomic okay for an ideal gas at a 300 kelvin okay so for ideal gas means and uh, u by dt uh, does not change internal energy does not change with volume okay so the same concept uh, Asked in again, again, again. Okay. Here, this is wrong. Delta T wrong. See, because delta U is a function of temperature, okay, not function of volume, okay, for ideal gas only. And this is also wrong. This is also wrong, okay. Okay, thank you.